Hi everybody, my name's Paul, and thanks for taking the time to listen to this Wildlife Drones mini-series presentation. If this is your first, welcome. And please look out for the others in the series. We'll be covering topics such as who we are and where we've come from, different aspects of the Dragonfly's functionality and how the system works, and we'll also cover a collection of case studies presenting the different outcomes our customers have experienced. This mini presentation covers what's included with the Dragonfly solution should you purchase one and some practical tips on how you might use it in the field. The solution includes three principal components. The Dragonfly radio receiver that comes with an antenna that attaches to the drone, a drone to provide height and mobility, and a ruggedized base station to gather, interpret, and present live data. The Freefly Astro Drone fully integrates with the Dragonfly receiver via an easy to use clip in, clip out gimbal, which also allows you to mount different payloads, such as thermal cameras, mapping or RGB cameras. And this gives you a great return on investment for your drone purchase. The gimbal also provides access for the Dragonfly to pull power and location data directly from the drone, allowing for lighter construction weight. The current model is smaller and lighter than previous versions, being roughly the size of your cell phone, but twice as thick. And this reduces the payload weight, and so it extends the drone's flight time. Typical flight lasts between 20 and 25 minutes. And this drone, which has shielded wiring, creates very little VHF noise. And this is really important, as it doesn't drown out the signal from smaller tags, such as bats or smaller birds. The Dragonfly, unlike handheld telemetry systems, has no need for individual tag calibration. And its real magic is in the ability to track up to 40 VHF tags simultaneously and continuously, saving the location data to a CSV file. This allows flights to be replayed in the office or data to be downloaded and delivered to other software programs for further analysis. The ruggedized base station, which has a brighter screen and longer battery life, so you can use it in the field with ease, receives and displays live data while you fly, mapping all tag location data in real time. This allows you, as the species specialist, to determine where you would like to position it in the landscape so that you can locate your tags and gather more data. It has a customizable map view you can manipulate to suit your needs and has capability to track one, some, or all of your tags simultaneously. Now, I'll very quickly show you a couple of examples of different flying techniques to maximize tag detection. And this first one we call the scouting flight. You essentially just launch the drone and send it out in a large circle. This is primarily to see which tags are around while saving time and power. While the Dragonfly gathers and records tag information constantly, it displays it on the screen every six seconds. So the black dots you can see are where it's not received a tag signal, while the green dots indicate a signal has been picked up. There's also an option to use mortality tags, which when triggered by a lack of movement, display on your screen as a red dot. And the mortality tags are great because they provide the opportunity to retrieve the tag but perhaps also to understand how the animal may have perished. As I've mentioned, while in flight, the Dragonfly system automatically records tag location data for all of your tags into a CSV file. Gone are the days of having to record event location data manually. So in this example, the green dots we can see on this flight indicate that we've located some tag signals. In the results filter on the right hand side, about halfway down, you can see a strength slider. By moving the strength slider to the right, we can progressively remove the weaker tag signals. This isolates the strongest signals, which provides the position the dragonfly was in when it was closest to the tag. In this instance, we can see we've located two different koalas at different ends of the scouting flight. In our second flight example, we have very different flight profile. This site's a dense eucalypt forest in New South Wales with a strong understory. In their hunt for some koalas, the pilot has chosen to fly all of the ridges in this forest. This removes the ridges and obstruction and reduces signal bounce while maximizing tag detection. It does this by looking into two valleys at once down either side of the ridge. As with handheld systems, our antenna has a stronger and a weaker end. 
The white pin you can see on the green dots shows the strongest direction of the antenna. So by flying this type of flight path, the pilots pointed the antenna in every direction multiple times during the flight to maximize tag detection. Again, as you can see, we have too much data to determine the location of any individual animals. So here you can see we've selected to look for only four specific tags, and we've done this by ticking the white boxes down the right-hand side of the results filter. As these tags are all identical koala tags, they're emitting the same strength of signal. So having manipulated the strength slider, we've isolated the single strongest signal from each tag, and so I've identified the approximate position of four different koalas. As you may have read, this flight was 20 minutes long, and the filtering took only a couple of minutes. So generously, in something like 25 minutes, we've covered approximately two square miles and have flown roughly nine miles. And in this time, we've located four distinct animals. And I challenge you to do that with a handheld telemetry system anywhere, let alone in a dense eucalypt forest with a dense understory. And don't worry, if you purchase the Dragonfly, we provide two to three hours of training to ensure you can achieve these great results yourself. So to summarize my presentation, we've seen that the Wildlife Drones Dragonfly radio telemetry system will increase tag detectability by putting the receiver at height, while reducing signal bounce created by high ground features because we can look over the top. It increases access to difficult and sometimes inaccessible terrain and reduces the disturbance of animals while locating them. And let's not forget the dragonfly can track up to 40 animals tags simultaneously and continuously. All of this leads to finding more tags, gathering more data faster over a larger area and difficult to access terrain safely. Thanks so much for your time. Should you have any questions, please reach out via my email, either with your questions or you're very welcome to ask to catch up in an online meeting and I can walk you through more features of the world's only commercially available Dragonfly radio telemetry system.